Yo! Video games. Aha. Uh -huh. They were correct! Ah! That person was correct. Dun dun. Not plus ratio. You fell off. Alright, check. Get ready to say Mario. See Mario. VIP then? Should be VIP. Good job, chat. Not okay. It was the chat that messed it up in the first place, fool. Zelda gang gang. Yes! That sounds like funky music. Look at like Farrell and Steve dancing. Just bought it again recently. Chat, I have four copies of this physical original DX. I have that Game & Watch with it. I've got it on my 3DS. I've got it on... I've got three copies of it. Maybe four. I have three, at least three copies of it on Switch. Special Edition American, Damn, Special Edition horrible. European, Special Edition Australian. My Game Boy Original it is signed by the writer and the director of this game, neither of which is Miyamoto. I was there when he got it signed. You were? Yes, you, I remember you bringing your copy to E3 because the, he was there and we found him. Simmons had his copy and he's like, I'm gonna find him and get this signed. I was there when Simmons did a lot of adventures at E3. Yes, I have Yoshiaki Koizumi and uh, Takashi Tezuka. Also, he has... Miyamoto signature is not on the game. No. He also has Takashi 69 signature. No, I do not. No, that's true. Chat, what does what does the blob say when you sprinkle magic powder on him in German? <laughs> Chat, what does the electric jelly gel say when you sprinkle magic powder on him and talk to him in German? There's Mario. In German. Does not say nine. Ooh. He says. Translated, not without a condom. Thank wow. getting indeed, not not without a condom. Wow. <laughs> du hast. All right, everybody, here we go. If you are tossing and turning, what Zelda? No, my name is Marin. You must be feeling a little woozy. You are on Kaholan Island. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where already I found you. Since you watched the shore, lots of strange monsters, nasty monsters have become. You see in the air. Blah, blah. So be careful, okay? Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taryn. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this here shield. Guess what, chat? Taryn is Mario spelled backwards. Spell it. It's a little secret that Nintendo put in this game. Do it. Taryn. Do it right now. Right? By God, he's right. Wait, you didn't know that? <laughs> Let me go get the sword real quick. Right? Is it raining? Yeah. Oh, it's just windy, that sounds like rain. Weeks. It rained last night. Yeah. Mind blown, right, chat? I mean, these are like the small things that Nintendo put in the game that 
You really didn't uh, know. Sorry. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot, motherfucker! Hoot! Uh, your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. Tio, you you obviously you got to check your spelling, bro. <laughs> that is the best game ever made. Over Resident Evil Four. Yeah, they're right there. It's like Link's Awakening, and then like Link to Pass Ocarina, and then like Resident Evil 4. Wait, you said Link's Awakening. I do not want to get that. You got a Guardian Acorn, it will reduce the damage you take by half. Well, you said Link's Awakening, then what? Then Link to the Pass Ocarina. Link to Pass. Okay, I am. Okay. I'm with it. And then Resident Evil 4. I have my top 10. It's on YouTube. Uh... Salt is overrated. Not this one. You're overrated. No, not Zelda. Original Zelda was one of the greatest games. Hoot. Oh, brave lad on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the... Oh, you Zelda is like... Crazy, <coughs> crazy influential. I got YouTube. Wow, I've had it for like fucking nine years. Do you want to attack? You suck ass. <laughs> nah, it's just it's just outclassed at this point, but you know. It's first game syndrome. Mm. I had to walk so these could run. Okay, that was like a my brother the wild. I could write a whole movie. This game has more music than Breath of the Wild. Damn. Hmm. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Legend of Zelda 1 is a thousand times better than Final Fantasy 1. Ooh. Final Fantasy 1 kind of sucks. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> Final Fantasy sucks until, like, basically 3. Y'all can quote me on that shit, bro. Final Fantasy 1 is garbage <laughs> compared to Zelda 1. Nostril head of mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. I said it, so what? It's a bad take? You're a bad take. How about that? <laughs> you found the problem? Yeah, actually, uh, you, you have, well, you have no more memory left on this card. So all the little saves errors we were making, uh -huh. they actually filled up the card. So when we were creating a new like save file for every game, it just made every game read error. Card's too full. I never said anything about So we just deleted the save data. I went and deleted the for KI and Mega Man Extreme 2. Huh. So it just worked. And then it worked. Because, like, we nothing was working. And then I'm like, let me check Metal Gear. And that didn't work. I'm like, that definitely worked. So the weird thing is that Mega Man Extreme 2 worked, but KI didn't. And we did KI first. Uh, it might have been that the memory was too much for it. Or, like, Mega Man saved less. I don't know. We could, we could try KI again. But we're definitely going to want to make some space. Am I joking? What do you mean? Ugh. Final Fantasy 1 sucked, Final Fantasy 2 sucked, 3 was pretty good, but fucking Legend of Zelda a thousand times better than Final Fantasy 1 or 2. You should play Zelda from memory, Kenny. I can play uh, Zelda 1 from memory, I can we'll get hella far. What's on here because we have the GBA version of 1. Already it is. We also hey, have a Nintendo. Is there. Why not try a bit in my hut? You've got some magic powder. Try sprinkling it on a variety of different things. I'm not going to take like seriously. Play Final Fantasy One right now. I dare you. I didn't play Final Fantasy One uh, when I was like I, I played these games like later, right? I played Dragon Warrior and oh that shit sucked. Metroid One is great. 
Final Fantasy 1 is... Metroid 1 is not great. Yes, it is. No, it is. Go play it again, Kenny. It was... Play Zero Mission. Yeah, yeah. You're oh, like, it was, Metroid it's, 1 it's first is game, fucking rough. It's first game syndrome. Well, okay, yeah, but even like Mega Man first game syndrome is playable. Metroid yeah. 1 is fucking rough. It's still fun. Uh, I mean, it, kind of, it is for like a level. It is for like a little bit. Mm, that's that's kind of true. I mean, the thing is, like, what is like, uh, uh, that's almost the same for uh, Kid Icarus. Maybe like for the early parts, and then Kid Icarus is fucking hard and just sucks. Yeah, Me Super Metroid is such a dramatic oh, yeah. upgrade on the Metroid formula that it. Last thing I can remember was oh, I didn't have a big juicy toast. But I, I played yeah, one. I and I remember one. Was one was a damn it, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure one, was fun. One was a vibe. Like I remember playing one, and it was like the serious vibe to it. I liked one as well. Like in, in uh, I remember I played the beginning of it at a friend's house. Yeah. And I thought it was better than Mega Man because guess what? You can shoot in any direction. Yeah. It, and then it you play it. Nice. You play it a little bit more, and it's very like. And, uh, it's a very hard to play game. Yeah, I, I don't give it that. But like when I was a kid and I had nothing but time on my hands, you know, sure. Like I was surprised at the amount of games I beat when I was a kid. I was like, holy fuck, this is hard as shit. But kid, you got time. And you didn't really get many other games, so that was the game you had to play. Yeah, Metroid 2 was on Game Boy. We are way out of sync, by the way. Well, that's interesting because we are not plugged into the retro. The, wow, the cable better one or Final Fantasy one? Wolf. They're like interesting. Equal. Maybe it's just a GameCube thing. Huh. I'd say they're almost like equal, man. Pause it, Simmons. Almost like chat resyncing. Yeah, that's weird. That's it's something out of the. Oh GameCube. yeah, I saw the uh, fish tacos. I was looking at the dimensions. So. Weird. Yo, thank you, Link, Hylia. Very appropriate. Chad, if Breath of the Wild 2, I mean, we're Tears of the Kingdom, we're never gonna stop calling it Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Nuts. If it has real dungeons, yes. but everything else is the same, same issues. It's still. Oh, the sync was actually fine for you it's guys? Still really? it's, the it's still cut. The audio sync? It's still a bit mid. Funny if it's on my. It's I'll, better. I'll actually just it's the TV the because my parents have like the same kind of TV it, it and it has the, the same TV. issue all the time. How oh, funny. It's still got a lot of issues. It's still got durability. It's still got problems with you choosing right, between the heart or everything is. heart or um, you know, stamina. And I'm like, that's not what I want to use. Still trash. No music. Mid. Weapons. Then it will be a seven out of ten instead of a five. It'd be a six. I like that. <laughs> I'd say six. Oh well, the original game is more than a six. With the wild? Yeah. But like, like those Ubisoft games are way worse because at least, at least the game functions. It doesn't like crash. Yeah, but the, you know, every time like if, you walk left, if it becomes left. a chore to play, where I'm like, I don't want to do this. I mean, so is most of the uh, Ubisoft open world games. A bit. Yes. Yeah. Elite Elite Beat said that. Uh, uh, check this out. The late audio thing is a is a GameCube HD thing yeah. with LG TVs. Mine does the same exact thing. You just gotta turn off the TV and turn it on again. The TV. Or in your case, just unplug it, plug it back in. Well, I, like I said, my parents actually had the same kind of TV and they have desyncing issues all the time. That Ubisoft Zelda game runs really well. And it's, you, I think it's no, it does, bro, I got hard locked out of that game permanently. Wow, oh, damn. <laughs> like, the rest of his life. I can, I can at least say that but I, I never had a game ending bug on, on Breath of the Wild like Phoenix Rising. Mm. I think Breath of the Wild is a 2 out of 10, and you should be ashamed for buying it, and you should uh, give Kenny your money. Yeah. Give me your money, Chad. Breath of the Wild's like a 9. It's like a 9. That's where I gave it, although I feel it's like... It's not an 11 out of 10, which is what everyone fucking gave it, like, reviewed I, it. I, a 9? I it's gave, a 9. I gave it a 9 when I reviewed it way back when it it's came out. It's got a lot of interesting polish in it and shit, and it's like, you know... Now, though, I do feel that, like, people who say it's a 7, I'm like, mm, Here's the thing. Critically, I, critically, I give it a 9. Whoa. Personally, I give it, like, an 8. Yeah. I think it's good. I think it's really good, you know? But do I... Mm, do I agree with a lot of the decisions? Nothing that would make it close to being a 10. 
Not critically or personally. Not, no, a 10 at all, bro. I, I, I give it a, a, I don't even know if I can give it a six. I couldn't finish the game, man. It was a chore. I was tired of item management. Granted, I didn't finish of, the game either. Of breaking weapons. <laughs> uh, to be like, fair. Oh, I mean it. Like, it was a legit, like, this is not fun at all. You know, what's, you know what's a seven? Like, Gotham Knights is a seven. Yeah, Gotham Knights is it's a like seven. It's like a perfect example of, like, a set, like the seven out of ten game. Is anything about it specifically, like, scream in a specific way? Like, not yeah. really. It's good. Like, I think it's I think it's completely fine. But it, it, do I think Breath of the Wild is comparable to that? No. I don't think so. I think Breath of the Wild does set up for some pretty... Interesting and fascinating world building and kind of like shit like that throughout yeah, it. It has that like, allows you to explore and enjoy its game in whatever way you kind of want. It has like neat things you can do. It does. With like with the open worldness and, and that, that stuff. That stuff isn't easy to do. And, to, and to make. magnets, sure, but like at, at its core gameplay, like I want to swing a sword. I want to do Zelda stuff, and then I have to like, I have to. You're, you're looking for like Elden Ring. Yeah, no, Elden Ring is a thousand yeah. times better Zelda. Yeah, I mean, oh, if, you, no. if you mean like Elden Ring is a better Breath of the Wild, I won't argue yes, with you there. Yes, a thousand times. Yeah, I screwed up. I won't like, really argue with you. It doesn't have like puzzles the same way I that you know. It, it's does. got like dungeons and like when I explore in, in um in Elden Ring, I feel rewarded. When I explore in Zelda, I don't feel rewarded. What do I what do I get? Another piece of a heart? Yes. I don't feel I don't Very find minor anything yeah. really cool when I explore. In Breath of the Wild, I get you know more I hard pieces. I want them to Zelda too, Zelda again. I want them to Metroidvania Zelda. Yeah, well, I've always said this. I think if Zelda 2 had the controls of Symphony of the Night, it would be an amazing game. Yeah. It would be an incredible game. Hmm, probably. It, its problem is its limitations of the hardware. Yeah. Like. I don't feel any reward exploring in that amazing giant world, dude. Yeah, it was like they have good ideas, but the the way that you're essentially rewarding the player to explore your ideas was not good. No, like yeah. it genuinely is like not at uh, all. There, there was there was definitely a point even in the first few days of me playing where it's like I got like the coolest shit in the game. Mm -hmm. What other reasons do I have to keep playing now? Yeah, because I, I found out that I actually got the best looking armor. I got the best armor. Like I got the space dude armor because I literally fought dudes with a pot lid, mm -hmm. and that what we did the first day, right? And I found out that like the best thing you can do is just increase your stats by going to dungeons. Yes. And I'm like, oh, that's it. And I literally just lo didn't play it again. Yeah. I just lost interest. You increase your stats. Like thing is too, and it's just like, yeah, like I've said, like you need you need like incremental rewards, not just like. You know, but that's the whole point of a Zelda game is the items you get. Yes. Right? The whole point is like increasing your character abilities via items, increasing your yeah, and exploring stats and, and, and exploring. finding things and like, oh, cool! Hey, I finally found the shield. And it didn't. It I didn't. Finally found the boomerang. It did not feel like that stuff was like, unless you really went on their intended path. Which is like, what's the whole point of the game? Not to go on the intended path, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's like it's like it's like the game design was kind of at conflict with itself. Yeah. And not not to mention just. Like I said, the weapon, the weapon system, the, the item system. It's like, hey, I found this cool weapon. I don't want to use it because it's gonna break. Yes, yeah, so and that, that that all that all was and like. You, and you hoard weapons, and yeah. you never use the good weapons. And then like you know, if they you turn use them elixirs. and it breaks, oh, well, I better uh, fucking I, now I gotta switch and get this next weapon. Oh, this weapon's about to break. Yeah, let me, so it, let me stop exactly. Here's what I'm the doing. Fun, the funny thing about that was Whoa. that like, oh, instead of us putting weapons throughout the world in interesting and unique ways. And like littering the world with with like equipable gear that's sort of there yeah. instead of just enemies just dropping everything, they just make shit drop everywhere, mm. right? So you can get really good weapons. I mean, outside of the master sword, which takes a bunch of time, you can just get really good weapons from just random encounters and shit instead of them being in really specific locations. At least from what I remember. Mm. So they were like, oh well, we need to incentivize people using the shitty weapons. So we're gonna create this funky ass durability system. Yes. Well, why didn't you just place the things in the world? in a way that feels like you're progressing. And they don't do that. No, and that's because they don't know where you're gonna go. Because they don't know where you're gonna go. Like, yeah. they, they essentially, like, once again, their design is at ends with itself. We want you to go this way to progress the story to do all this stuff, but you also should just go fuck around. Yeah. You know? Fuck around and find out. Like, the only place that's, like, actually, like, scaled up in difficulty, sort of, is going straight to the middle, to Hyrule Castle, where, like, the big park cloud is. This is what, what I did. And then... That that isn't even really have anything to do with like 
so much skill or difficulty. It's all about how well can you parry. Because if you can parry, you can run in there with a pot lid and do, and do well. You and, dominate. And dome everything, yeah. And you kill, like, literally kill all the big gargoyle guys. Yeah. And, like, that's what I did. I had nothing on my back except the fucking pot lid. And I was able to kill the end game monsters. I was like, that's weird. Mm hmm. No dungeons, no music. I mean, I could go, I can go on. Well, I mean, and my kiddos beat it. At they least, love. at they, least, they, they, Elden Ring has a stat system. Mm -hmm. It actually has strength and stats and abilities and builds where you'll come across something potentially OP, but you can't use it because your just build wasn't made for that. Yep. Or you'll come across something that is pretty good, and then you build enough stats into it, and then all of a sudden you become OP for a certain part of the game. But the, the thing about Souls games that's great is that at some point everybody becomes OP, right? You become really powerful because all of your gear just falls into this ni nice little stat category. And for a few hours, you're kind of a god. And then the game catches up. Oh yeah. And then the dopamine hits where you're like, dang, I need better gear, right? And that's, it's a, it's a, all the Souls games are like that, where they have this like moment and then you have to catch up. And then a moment and you gotta catch up. And then a moment and then you gotta catch up. Unless you like know how the game works yeah. through and through and you just pick the best weapon. Unless you make a crazy build. Like when I made my build, like I started getting into it and I made my dual dual blade and I think it was. Yeah, monster. you feel smart. You feel oh, yeah. like you feel like you have your own unique sense yeah. of like Dude. you know, the way you're playing it is yeah. great. You tuned into my stream once, you're like, what the hell, bro? Like when I was doing crazy insane yeah, damage. Yeah, your shit was nuts. Yeah. And that's the big difference between, you know, Elden Ring and like uh, the previous Souls games like Bloodborne, Elden mm. Ring is really open-ended with how you can approach that shit. Oh, yeah. And the previous Souls games are kind of like more focused. Like there's going to be hard walls where you just can't make your character much better yeah. except beating the boss. But you already, you already, I mean, if, if you beat Gascoigne in a couple of times, a couple yeah. of attempts, you're fine. Nice. You'll, you're, you're already reacting fine and you already understand the way the game plays. Oh yeah, that's cool, man. Because yeah, it, it's second try. I almost the, got him on the first. The next boss, and you're in the right area right now. It'll take you a while to find him. Yeah. Uh, because you're in Old Yarnum. Mm-hmm. The next boss will be the true... That's the uh, the barrier boss. Nice. That's, and and the, the, the frustrating thing about it is that it's a barrier boss because he's like kind of far away. Yeah. So you die and you gotta run really far to get to him. Mm. It's, you have to find a shortcut. I don't find that good design. It's not. I mean, like to be honest, it's not. The, sh the shortcut system is supposed to be like the thing that mitigates it. Yeah. You know? And so that, was, that, that was Simmons his problem with that game. And that's why he liked Elden Ring better because yeah. Elden Ring. Elden Ring is like, well, let's put you next to the boss. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put a little steak of Marika here. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, Cause the thing is, it's like, oh, well, you know, it's like, some people are like, well, you, you know, it's a punishment, you know, it makes you not want to, like, lose the fight or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm not doing anything by running back yeah, I get you. to a beast. I get you. I'm not like, it's not even like, oh, the challenge, I didn't watch getting to the boss is part of the through. challenge. No, it's not. It's literally just run past everything. Yeah, just yo yoinking your way through these bunch of dickheads without taking damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, okay, learn how to, I get it. Do you, know, you know, dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Back to the boss, but you like you basically. Elden, just, you know, the funny thing is, it happens once in Elden Ring, like yeah. literally once. There's well, one cool. part that I can't and, remember. Yet. And it is it is a hard boss fight that you have to like come back to a few times. But Elden Ring straight like quality of life admits it. It's like yeah, we know. <laughs> like <laughs> we're not doing this on purpose just to fuck with you. It's kind of like okay, we see how our players are playing our game. We'll fix that. Yeah. And to be frank, if the next game is Mecha Souls, if it's Armored Core, like. Fuck, dude, there there might be some incredibly cool shit if you can make your own, like, robot dude, robot build, robot what? chick, whatever. Let me see. I just hope Breath of the Wild does that. Yeah, and I... I I hope so too. I'm actually going to try... I'm gonna... I'm gonna you have to get seen. You character in Breath of the Wild? No, I just hope they fix things. Mm. Yeah, and instead of just... I don't think they will. They sold 25... over 25 million copies of the game. They ain't fixing shit. If they, if they so you fix think they're weapon breaking and all that shit. I think there? most things will be the same. Then that'll be a hard pass. For and, me. and I think I do think there will be dungeons. Okay, if they had dungeons, that's, I, that's I, I do significantly think, better. I do but think traditional dungeons will be bad. It'll be, it'll be physics dungeons and shit, but it'll yeah, probably I, be well, traditional. Yeah, every dungeon in the original game literally had the same gimmick. Yes. Like and they move move the, the literal dungeon with the map. Yeah. Um. Um. Well, I, I think the. The evidence of that being the case is pretty sound because, like, the very first trailer of anything for that game was in, like, a dungeon setting. 
There's like characters right. on the ground, and you saw like yeah. the information on the wall. There's like or flashes that look kind of like the old Zelda One dungeon entry. Exactly. So I'm like, I'm thinking there's. And that doesn't happen very much in Breath of the Wild. There's right? no dungeons. It was the open areas. Yeah. No, three of the uh, whatever. There's they're the called. four divine beasts, which beasts. are just longer shrines. They even yes. have the same aesthetic. So, my thing is that like, they made a successful game. They made the most successful Zelda game ever. This is how Zelda will be as a mainline. There'll be there'll be the spinoffs and the remakes, you know, whatever. But like, on a whole. Breath of the Wild is the future of the Zelda franchise. You know why so many people were giving it a 10 out of 10? They were sucking that game's master sword. <sighs> and I can tell you right now from the latest trailer, those tiers, there's like six or seven tiers around the, the, the glyph or whatever. That's the dungeon. That's the MacGuffins. Yeah. I feel like there's room for both. You know? Absolutely. I feel like there's room for like Zelda games like this still. I feel like like even yeah, I mean, and then we, we've seen them, this. you know, like like the the the, well, the, the indie uh, games and the, all that the 3DS shit. The DS one was was great. That's true. There was there was one like five something years ago, right? Yeah. The and also Link's Awakening remake. Yeah. That one was fantastic. There's room for both, you know. There's they don't need to. Be there hard is room focused. for both, but the main core Zelda team will probably not Zelda, be yeah. be doing. Anything like that. That'll go to, like, Grezzo, who's done all the remakes. Um, well, you had to think of what happened. Between two worlds. What yes. happened to the core Zelda team, right? They essentially just kept making versions of Zelda Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. Time. Yeah. That's all. Skyward Sword was just, like, an Ocarina of Time that not as many people liked. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was basically, like... It was Zelda basically painting itself into a corner. Mm -hmm. And basically, like, all the worst aspects of 3D Zeldas were just... Just exemplified. It was kind of like just, just as everything was just got siphoned, siphoned down into that game. Yeah. And then they realized like this, this doesn't work. And the thing was is that they'll never admit this, but the sales of Skyward Sword were not great. Uh, they were especially not great <laughs> on the fact that there was a hundred million Wii's out there and it sold about three million copies. Wow, that's rough. Um, I think Twilight Princess sold way like better. seven. Right? Yeah. So... And that's the other thing, too, is is to always remember is that just because a game comes out late in a console's life is no guarantee that it's going to sell That's going to hit your entire demographic. Because, like, yeah, because yeah, usually when a game is a launch game, the, the tie-in ratio of people, you know, people who buy the system to who buy that game, way higher because there's not there's nothing else to buy, and this yeah. is this is the most popular game. And if, and if the and if a launch game is good, right, it essentially gets categorized into a greatest hit sort of situation yeah. where people know that that's like a must own game of the system, like like the Mario Kart's, the Smash yeah. Brothers, the Mario exactly. Odyssey, like that that kind of shit. You just have to play this game, you know. You know what game was good, but then got really mid was uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker just got tough to finish when I had to like sail and you know the later ones fixed it but mm -hmm. Jesus Christ kind sailing of. it kind of fixed it. Wind Waker it. was, was kind of neat but then just and, and like it was getting at the time where I just couldn't finish games like I you know was working full time I had my little kiddos and it was like I don't have them. Yeah it's hard to con because if you come back to it you don't know where the hell you yeah, are. You don't know where the hell you are you had to do all this Stuff and sit. I was like, "Wolf, wolf." I liked it. It was a lot of fun. All right, Sarah, you're done with this game. Danny, continue. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I like. Congratulations, it. you got your wind fish. Woo. Stick it up your butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the Wake corn. Up. <laughs> Wake up. It's the greatest game ever made. It's not bad. Damn.